welcome back everyone my name is Gnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create this amazing Wings Freedom Photo Effect or Photo Manipulation in Photoshop uh, CC you can create it in any version of Photoshop so without wasting any kind of time let's get started I will add some more extra thing inside that I just once practiced that and I like that and I thought it should be created a tutorial so let's start our work uh, first of all we create a new document size of the document is 2560 pixels by 1600 pixels back uh, resolution is 300 pixels background contents are transparent and click on create now press ctrl 0 we'll click on this grass and we'll drag it into our main document now press ctrl T then centerize this size it down then pick it up a little bit then press ctrl t we want to make it little perspective so like this it's nice i think so uh, much better here so now what we'll do is we'll delete this background and we need to get our castle so or we could just uh, need our character so first of all i will use this character size it down where it looks nice make it it centered or to this side I would like to make it uh, like this or uh, yes I think it's nice this is much better so check mark on this and now what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, uh, need wings so we'll keep pick up our wings these are the wings I'm using size them up as they are the important part of this tutorial so that's nice now we'll bring them into the back side let's just hide this and name this as uh, wings then click on this scrub tool and we'll separate these wings from one another uh, okay that's nice now we press ctrl shift and j or rasterize this first and shift and j now both things are separated now let's just pick up our style and then we'll adjust the wings now i think it's nice now we will uh, copy this devil control shift backspace sorry rasterize this first then fill it black color control T we are going to create a shadow make it horizontal and take it right here now press uh, perspective great now pick it under this and now we'll go to filter blur gallery and tilt shift from the tilt shift we will make our blur to about right where you feel like it's nice here so click on this uh, ok then make it soft light and turn down the shadow size like this then uh, make a little bit more then we'll merge these wings in one layer ctrl j fill them also with black color now press ctrl t good one now what we'll do is uh, we want to change the colors of this uh, devil 
so create a new layer make a clip mask right click on this and click on create clip mask then we'll shift backspace and fill it with gray color and make it normal to overlay then select your uh, burn tool and we want to make the these areas darker okay and now uh, it's nicely done but we want to uh, hide these lights so we'll get a new layer again clip this and uh, fill we don't need to fill this select brush tool and uh, we'll select a color like this size it down as much as you can and then again make it soft light and we have get rid of this blue light now uh, we will create a new layer we we'll press brush tool size it up and uh, change it to here and uh, click here and click here also or you can click here I think it's nice to be click here make it screen or you can make it uh, hard light but I think screen is much better I don't know what to do with this light so I'm trying to make it like uh, like this yes it's nice looks perfect and now uh, we'll apply a gradient so we'll create a new gradient from the gradient I would like to select this color click OK OK and we'll make it uh, soft light and then again open this and we'll select another color to make it look like better so select any of the colors And I think I am uh, fine with uh, this color. So make it 0% radial reverse. Click OK. Just a little bit. Now we'll go to selective colors. And I would like to go with the uh, greens first. We would like to change this to a little bit upside where this light starts and now the final thing is that I would like to press ctrl shift alt plus E and I would like to go to filter and uh, uh, it, there should be a oil filter maybe stylize inside yes there is the oil paint filter and uh, yes these settings are incredible and cleanliness is 1.0 so hit ok but you can see that it's not uh, highly detailed so what we'll do uh, here is uh, I would like to go to filter then hide this first then press ctrl shift alt plus E and now we have a detailed and a oil painted so we'll select the oil painted layer name this as uh oil sorry oil painted and we name this layer as uh now we'll select a layer mask on it select brush and i would like to make foreground colors black and give a little detail where it needs to be detailed like these these chains these foot and these kind of things that's great now we'll select both of these layers and press ctrl or press ctrl shift alt plus e and i think this side should be filled with something so i would like to go to this and i would like to select this castle and fill it with uh, we'll make selection and 
press control T then size it down I know it's late to be at this but uh, I forgot to add so I'm adding this at this time so I'll size it down sorry and uh, it's far away from the location so don't be worried about that it's never be late so great thing make it rotated and then smaller there we go so make it little downside a little bit and then we'll select a uh, brush tool and make it like this you want to erase the edges a little bit and after we will uh, erase the edges like this I would like to go to brush create a new layer make it clip mask or instead of clip mask we will press D then press alt select a color size it up make it the opacity to about 50% then flow to about 44% and I would like to apply this on this side good thing and we'll turn down the opacity to power where it looks better and vanished like this great and perfect and now there is a little bit uh, small thing left we'll press uh, control shift alt plus e and go to filter and camera raw filter and we want to give some final touches to make it look like much better so go to this side okay I am fine with the settings and uh, click ok looks nice and perfect let's copy this control I control shift U control L and I would like to make it like this or fill it with this color now press control D and there we go now you will understand what I am doing so we'll apply this layer mask apply and uh, go to filter and uh, blur and radial blur and make it zoom it in like this and a little bit like this and increase this to about 75% make it best and click on ok I hope it could work for us great go to screen press brush and um, like this and now I would like to go to wings and character and press control shift and J that's like a good boy now press brush oh, sorry uh, erase and I don't want rays from this side and from this side also and make it a little little bigger you can apply this again by control alt and F maybe it could increase a little bit more No, I think it's nice here okay turn this on let's just uh, group this and we will make a wee saturation on it make it clip mask of this group colorize it 
increase the colors and now we want to give some colors like this great and now I would like to create press ctrl shift alt press E again and then we'll go to filter copy of this go to filter blur gallery go to iris blur make it bigger cool let's apply the final color correction I'm applying a little color overlay, a little matte color. And we'll select some levels and adjustments. So press Ctrl Shift Alt plus E, then copy this then control i then make it vivid light to filter blur gaussian blur make it 2.2 or 3 percent is nice okay and then go to filter other and high pass two percent and i would like to this and go to filter uh, sharpen and smart sharpen This is the very highest detail so we would like to make it smaller as much smaller as we can and i don't think so we need this um, i think it's nice uh, as it is and we'll create a new layer gradient i would like a gradient of uh, black and white select the white color make it a uh, make it blue then select this color and make it little like this color and we'll press gradient it should be like this make it a little more and make it soft light and make it like a little smaller So we are done here. I hope you like this video. I know it's uh, I'm not very much professional, but I have tried. I'm trying, and I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. We will meet in our next video. Never stop, never depend, and keep learning.